Greetings folks, I have some very cool new flight control board technology to show you from Maytech. We have the all new H743 wing flight control board with CAN. I'll explain a bit more about that later on. We have the GPS M8Q CAN, more about that later on. And we also have the F, uh, what is it, the F722WPX flight control board with the uh, FR Sky Pixel OSD. Um, so I won't talk about that in this video, that's for the future. Let's concentrate on the new H743 wing. This is so advanced I can't actually use it yet. It uh, is not yet supported by iNav. We have to wait for uh, iNav 2.6. At the moment it is supported by uh, ArduPilot. Uh, I have never used ArduPilot before, um, so this might be an opportunity to <laughs> force me to work out how to use it. I have actually worked out how to connect it up and um, configure it. Uh, I've just never actually flown a plane with ArduPilot, so that may be coming. Okay, let's have a look. So in the packet we get the usual extra little screws and standoffs, so uh, we'll just put them back in so we don't lose them. The lovely coloured pin sets that I really, really like. And we get the board and the extra board here, the daughter board or whatever you want to call it, which uh, houses the buzzer, switchable buzzer, which is a great idea because it is a very, very loud buzzer, and USB-C connection. So no more USB port to break off your board. You've got a, a sort of a separate one that you can mount wherever you want. You can uh, bury this in the plane and have the... USB connection accessible, which is a brilliant idea. We also get the uh, DFU or the um, direct firmware upload mode button there, so you can uh, upload firmware. Now, because this isn't supported by iNav yet, uh, you have to load the ArduPilot firmware via Betaflight. It does have Betaflight firmware uh, preloaded, uh, they say just for quality control on the Maytech website. So before I could even connect it up and, and check it out, I had to load Betaflight onto my Mac, uh, which is not a, not that straightforward. I had to override the security, the, the stricter security of the latest uh, Mac operating system, but that's all uh, pretty easy to do and sh show you how to do that on the Beta, Betaflight website. So you have to load Betaflight on, you have to download the correct ArduPilot or ArduPlane firmware, use Betaflight to flash it to the board uh, and they note that there's a bit of a, a glitch, you have to turn off full chip arrays for it to flash the firmware properly. Then I could connect the board to uh, Q Ground Control and uh, APM Planner uh, ArduPilot to actually see it operating in the window. So what's this CAN all about? Uh, so CAN, CAN stands for Controller area network. It's basically just a, another way to con connect peripherals to the board, uh, like UARTs or IIC or I squared C. But it's a very, very powerful and uh, robust way of connecting peripherals. Um, it, this CAN bus has been used in the automotive industry for years and years, like 30 years or something like that, for connecting all the peripheral sensors around your car to your, your main processor uh, and passing the signal along one wire. The, the real idea about CAN is to reduce the amount of wiring that you need and reduce the, the amount of pins that you need on the board. Uh, because it's a bus, you can connect multiple sensors through the one cable, uh, multiple signals going down the, the signal wire. Now a CAN device like the uh, GPS kind of acts like a, a hub or a port or a node that you can connect other devices to, which then connect into the board, into the single CAN port. And the GPS also has uh, I2C and UART connection as well, so you can connect non-CAN devices to the GPS, which then connect to the CAN device. You can connect uh, the CAN device GPS to non-CAN device flight control boards by UART. So it's very, very versatile, these CAN devices. And I think we're going to see a lot more sensors and boards that are CAN capable. And apparently CAN buses have a very good resistance to interference. So uh, that's a very robust communication protocol. So 
I'm guessing there'll be less GPS glitches um, and interruptions to communication. The example that they give on the Maytech website for connecting other devices is uh, using a digital airspeed sensor which connects into the GPS and then the GPS connects onto the board and all that information is going down the one signal. So what else is there? The uh, H743 is using the H743 processor which gives uh, more than twice uh, processing speed, 480 megahertz. You get a choice of the uh, IMU or the um, uh, gyro accelerometer units. There's two to choose from. Uh, the barometer, the change to the more accurate DPS 310 instead of the usual BMP uh, 280 that all the other flight control boards use. Uh, it still uses the normal INAV uh, OSD. Has, uh, I think, for flashing RG pilot to a flight control board you need at least one meg of flash memory. This has two megs so plenty of space. In fact it only works on RG pilot at the moment but we'll work on INAV pretty soon. Black box recording of course, seven UARTs, two I2Cs or I2Cs, squared one CAN, one SPI3 breakout, six analog to digital converters that's VBAT current, VBAT2, current2, RSSI and airspeed and 13 PWM outputs. Sort of similar specs to the 765 wing board and in the same way you have to solder the three little wires to connect the, uh, the, the top deck to the middle deck. Same thing with the H743. Pretty much the same specs otherwise. Uh, 9 to 36 volt DC in so that's 3 to 8S. 132 amp uh, current sensor uh, and three BECs, we've got a 5 volt 2 amp BEC for the flight controller, 9 volt 2 amp continuous um, for camera and video transmitter, you can change that to 12 volts for our little solder bridge, and an 8 amp BEC for servos, and the voltage you can choose 5 volts, 6 volts or 7.2 volts, again by bridging little solder bridges. And we also get two camera switching, uh, and we can switch the power on and off for one of the cameras too, which would be good for HD recording, turning the HD recorder on and off. So, amazing stuff. Let's have a closer look now. So, as you can see, it's a triple deck. Uh, bottom deck is just a mount. Uh, top deck is all the voltage uh, regulators, BECs. And we get the door-to-board -door breakout as well with buzzer, super loud buzzer, little on-off switch. DFU button and USB 3 connection. So where will we start? Start on the power end. Battery connections there, two ESC connections there, uh, and EC signal and ground. Go down this side, we have the servos. We have uh, nine servos running down here. UARTs here, six, two, and seven. I2C connection there. Uh, uh, UART 4, UART 1 here, 3 and 5 there, video transmitter camera 1 and switchable voltage camera 2, uh, PWM 11 and 12 there, gee you've got to go hunting for these things. Anyway let's take the top deck off and have a look underneath. So we can see it a bit clearer with the top deck off, airspeed sensor in there. RSSI is over here. Here's the solder bridges for the camera 2 switching voltage. And here's the uh, VBAT 2 and current 2. And on the underneath of the top deck here, this is where we choose the servo voltage, 6 volts, 7 volts, or leave it alone for 5 volts. And here's where we connect the top deck to the middle deck, uh, VX to VX, ground to ground, and VBAT to VBAT there. I'll just show you connecting up to Q ground control, USB-C connected in, flashing lights, there we go, we're connected, and we can start setting stuff up. And I don't really know anything about this sort of stuff yet. I'm going to have to uh, learn all of that. But we can calibrate sensors. All the settings, we are ready to solder it up. 
learn RG Pilot and uh, see what we can do with it. I've just noticed there's the GPS, the CAN bus GPS, and that cable provided isn't compatible with the plug, unfortunately. So we can maybe connect by UART to the board. Uh, I'll have to have a think about that. The UART here, I2C there, CAN bus there. All right, well, that'll do it for the moment. Amazing piece of kit. So advanced, uh, it isn't even properly supported yet. We can only imagine what we're going to be able to do with it in the future. Thanks for watching.